basically we have an inverter with eight MPPTs. Yeah, each can connect it to two strings. Actually, we always have a high voltage DC battery. Actually, high that's, voltage. That's, that's going to be what 300, 400 volts. No, you're getting above that. So we've got a high voltage DC battery connection. We've got dedicated generator input, yeah. and it's got yeah. modes for both backup power and for self-consumption. Expect that the quality which you get is high. Expect that the projects are running nice. Yeah, this is actually what you can expect from Fox. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordi here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar Europe. This is the largest solar conference in Europe, here in Munich, Germany. This morning I'm joined by Peter Winter, Technical Director for Europe at, at Fox ESS. Now we're going to be looking at the Fox ESS commercial hybrid inverter, but you know folks, part of the reason why we're here at the European Solar Conference is that, you know, as the US solar and storage market matures, you're going to see many of the international solar and storage providers, companies like Fox ESS that are already well established in the European market and other parts of the world, uh, you're going to start seeing them in the US market as well. Uh, so Peter, I know today we're looking at the, the, the commercial hybrid inverter, uh, but I guess for those that aren't as familiar with Fox ESS, tell us a little, a little bit about Fox's background and your presence here in Europe. Yeah, first of all, Joe, thanks for having us over here. Um, yeah. Fox actually, of course, is a China-based company with a very big group behind it, the Xinjiang Group, yeah, having more than 49 billion uh, euro actually turnover worldwide, yeah. And Fox is one subsidiary company of them, is a specialist in electronics, power electronics, and battery manufacturing. Of course, not the cell, this is what other group companies are doing, but all the technology around it, like BMS, like all the power electronics behind it, that's the strength of Fox, yeah. Okay. So that means, our special thing is, we are basically a kind of integrated manufacturer, which is really a good thing if it comes to supply chain optimizations, cost efficiency, and of course, if it comes to product quality. Yeah? So this is our special thing behind it, actually. You ask about Europe, Europe is quite a good story, because, I mean, Fox is a young company, only founded 2019, and they started business in Poland with string inverters, and more and more, they also drop products in the UK, and also coming to Germany. Germany is our core market at the moment for home storage solutions. So this is actually where we are coming from. So we are at the moment at number two in residential solutions for Germany. And this is what was built up, not even within four years. Wow, incredible, incredible. So number two in Germany, and I think I, you said top three in the UK as well, right? Yeah, exactly, the top three in UK. We have always a very strong presence in Italy, in Spain, and of course, as mentioned before, in Poland as well. So that's actually what we are doing, yeah? Newly, we are also entering more in the CNI business. That's what we already did, where Netherlands is quite an amazing market in the, uh, in the European Union, yeah? So this is one thing where we really see a big growth potential over here. And that's also what we have behind us a little bit, yeah? Because this is actually the next evolution step, yeah? So when it comes to CNI, the hybrid solutions are getting more and more important, yeah? Especially also if you look to US, yeah? Because there, I mean, it's a big topic, yeah? And that's why the design we are using here for this product. It's already in a way that you can directly connect the generator. They have a, grid, a very quick switching between on-grid and off-grid. So it's also perfectly matching the needs of our US customer base. Great, great. Uh, and, and again, folks, you know, the, the reason that we're here and the reason that you see companies like Fox establishing and doing business in Europe first is because the, the European storage market is about five to 10 years ahead of where we are in the US. You know, in the US, we've, we've kind of been spoiled with having a good one-for-one -one net metering program in a lot of the country. So a lot of the people that have gone solar in the US in the past 10 years, they haven't really had to install battery storage unless, of course, they need it for emergency backup power. But if we're talking about just to get a, a good return on investment, in the US, we still have generous net metering programs or what you, what you probably call feed-in tariff here, yeah, okay. where the, the power company will pay you to buy your excess solar but as those, those net metering programs or those feed-in tariffs are reduced or eliminated, that means pretty much everything is going to go towards battery storage. We're already seeing it here in Europe. It's already that way here in Europe. It's going to be that way in the U.S. Uh, in the next five, ten years to come. So, uh, Peter, though, for those that aren't familiar with this particular solution, so walk us through the H3 three-phase hybrid inverter. What are the basic specifications and how does it work? Okay. Actually, I absolutely agree with what you're saying. So that's really what we are also seeing here in Europe. I mean, just one add-on on that. At the moment, if you have a standard installation in Europe, or especially in Germany, you get 
60 to 70 percent of the generated energy not subsidized at all. Yeah, so that's okay. why you don't get any feed in tariff for that. You even are not allowed to feed in party. Yeah, so that's why this is what we see over here, and that's why we have good experience in getting down, down cost and also get it forward. Yeah, what we see here, what's special about it. With all the history of Fox products, we started from the small solution, so coming even with single phase as low as 3 kV. Yeah, this is the other end of the scale we have at the moment. Yeah, well, so it's getting up to 125 kV. So a very powerful system, which is more for the small uh, shops, uh, other businesses actually. So that's more a CNI, so a commercial and industry product which we are having here. Yeah which you can even cluster with up to 10 pieces in parallel. So even you can increase the power, so it's a very well modular system. The other strong point, even if you talk about backup, yeah, backup is also the topic, I want to use a certain share of the battery to have uh, self-consumption optimization or even other functions just to get the economics of the system pushed up. Yeah? For emergency power, you always need to reserve. Yeah? So because typically, when you need the power, the battery is empty yeah that's often the case so when you need it you don't have the power that's why you always should keep a certain reserve yeah with this system you can add a battery up to 720 kilowatt hours that means you can add an extremely large battery to such an inverter yeah so actually starting at around about 10 kilowatt hours yeah up to those 720 kilowatt hours you can build up whatever system you want yeah give me user flexibility for services and also for the emergency power supply Great. Now, now the configuration that we have pictured here. What, what are we showing here? With as far as yes. how much storage is connected? Yes. The combination we see here. So basically, we have an inverter with eight MPPTs. Yeah. Each can connect it to two strings actually. So we have actually sufficient PV power. So you can add up to the double amount of PV power to this device. So that's why almost no limits in respect to module size, in respect to PV power. That's no problem at all. Yeah. Then, as mentioned before, you have the typical connection design where you can also directly apply a generator connection to the system as well as the grid and also the load connection. So this is actually the design which we are having, allowing a very fast switching time to EPS mode. Combined with the batteries which we are seeing over here, here we have our outdoor battery yeah, where you can connect up to 12 batteries to the system. Yeah? We have three internal connections and then we have some nice combiner boxes which are coming up to the market where allow, which allow you to connect four pieces of batteries to one of those connections internally of the inverter. So that makes it extremely flexible. All right, let's talk about the specifications. I'm sure the audience wants to know. So is this a high, high voltage or low voltage DC for the battery? We always have a high voltage DC battery, actually. High that's, voltage, that's, so that's going to be what, 300, 400 volts? No, you're getting above that. You are in the range of, uh, let's say, seven, 800 volts, so you're getting into a very high voltage level. You can start with lower, that's no problem. You can even start at a low voltage level of uh, around about 200 volts, that's also no problem. But typically, you go up to a higher level. Higher level means higher efficiencies, and of course, if you have the installation, you can even use thinner cables, yeah? That's why it makes it all a little bit easier and therefore faster, yeah? Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so we've got a high voltage DC battery connection. We've got dedicated generator input, yeah. and it's got yeah. modes for both backup power and for self-consumption? Yes, exactly, it's for both backup power and self-consumption, actually. You can combine both, actually, so that's, that's not, a, not a problem, yeah? Okay. Uh, maybe you can also talk a little bit about the timeline, yeah? Because this is actually the latest product we have on our proof at all, so this is actually just to be ramped up in production. Yeah, we are introducing it first also in other markets worldwide. Yeah, and then we get to the very well established markets like Europe and also to the US market. So we can expect it there end of Q3, end of uh, 2025. That's actually the timeline we have for the product at the moment. Yeah. Okay, so this is coming, coming soon, coming it's fast. It's absolutely coming soon. What Fox always does, so actually we always keep the display on the inverter. Yeah? I know most of you will most likely take the mobile to do the installation, to do the uh, commissioning of the system, which is possible. But it's always the same. You are downstairs in a basement or whatever it is. You don't have any good connection or you simply don't have a mobile run out of battery. So Fox inverters at all are always possible to commission just with the integrated display. Well, that's the reason why we keep it, to also make it sure that you as an installer actually go out uh, off from the side with success. That's also a big story that we just want to follow all the time. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think that that is, that is a big story and a big theme that it's, it's not just about coming to market with another new battery or another new inverter, but it's really having a partnership with the installers. Yes. At the end of the day, the installers have to be successful in it, not just doing the initial install, but also keeping that system healthy over five, 10, 20 years. Yes, exactly. So that's why after this was a very big topic, yeah? 
in Germany we already have about a, a big service department, yeah. Also with field service which we allow or which we have available in Europe, yeah. So with our market growth in US, of course for Fox, not only introducing the product is important, also to build up the after sales structure at the same time, yeah. Because at the end of the day, uh, we want to make you happy with the product. That's always the goal of, of Fox, yeah. So all the development we are doing, all the alignment we are doing inside Fox is very much customer. For us, this means installers or with this scale, even EPCs. So this is the focus we are really having. Yeah. So therefore, we make it simple. We keep it in a way that the customer is happy at the end of the day when it's installed. Okay. Now, I'm sure a question that a lot of folks are going to be having out there is, how, how much does it cost? I don't know if you can give me exact pricing or compared to some of your competitors, price-wise, what, what should the audience expect? I can give you the general answer for that because I am responsible for the products, I'm not responsible for the pricing as a sales topic, yeah? But in general, I mean, Fox is never the cheapest, but never the expensive product, yeah? So actually for us, it's always value. This is important, yeah? So that's why you need a quality product which lasts for 10 years or maybe, maybe even longer, yeah? You want to have a stable product actually good software, good services around it, like a cloud interface, like all the app functions, like an open energy management integration, so that's why we can also build up a great system, yeah? Uh, then it's Fox uh, actually your choice. So that's why typically we are in a medium range, well-priced uh, pricing with all of our products. Yeah, I, I think that's the right answer, you know? And again, folks, I've, I've been saying this for years. Solar is not one of those things you want to shop on who can give me the cheapest price. Right, solar is a long-term investment, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're a business owner. So when you look at specifying and getting your solar system installed, you don't want to look at what's the cheapest equipment I can get. What you want to think is, what's the equipment that I'm going to be confident in over five, 10, or 20 years? And that, and that you know, goes to not just the quality of the equipment, but also the financial strength of the company that's backing it and that's backing the warranty. Exactly, I mean, well, uh, warranty conditions are, must be clear, so of course we also keep our warranty. As mentioned before, we have a big group behind us, but uh, of course you are safe that you get what you are paying for. That's actually always important to us, yeah? Uh, therefore, we have the access to the cells. We have also, a, I mean, we have a 12 gigawatt factory running at the moment in, in, in China and Benso, yeah? It's one of the newest and most modern factories in China, yeah? highly automized, yeah? so that's actually what we are using. That means, in figures, we're at the moment producing in an average month between 60 to 70,000 inverters. That's actually the, the volume we are doing. Yeah? On top of that, the batteries are coming. So additionally, we also have another 300 megawatt hours of battery capacity, which we are also producing each month. Yeah? So that's why it's a large factory, it's a large quantity, uh, I also was there for several quality assessments right now, and at the end of the day, you have absolutely no major findings. So the quality level is very high, and that's also for our European customers very important, and I'm absolutely sure the same is in the US, yeah? so quality counts. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, again, folks, the reason why we came to InterSolar and the, the European Solar Conference is that you're going to see companies that are already well-established here in the European market and other parts of the world. You know, companies like Fox that have, you know, just massive in terms of their, their scale and capacity, they're going to be coming into the U.S. market very soon. So the H3, the, um, the commercial hybrid inverter uh, being released in Europe here this year will also be available in the U.S. before the end of 2025. Uh, and again, we just want to introduce you to a lot of these companies that are already having a lot of success internationally because you're going to start seeing this name more and more in the U.S. Uh, as we get further into 2025. Uh, Peter, is there anything else that the audience should know about the commercial hybrid inverter or about Fox ESS? Yeah, actually, you can choose Fox actually for the reason mentioned. That's a good thing. You should keep it, uh, take into account. So we have the big group, we have the integration, we have the big company behind us. We are well established in the whole residential product range. range and at the moment, we are extremely fast get, uh, scaling up with CNI here. So the good thing is for US, yeah, we are a little bit late in US, so what you will get is a very mature product which is cutting there. Yeah, but that's why expect that the quality which you get is high. Expect that the projects are running nice. Yeah, this is actually what you can expect from Fox. Great. Well, folks, this has been a chat with Peter Winter. He's a technical director for the European market here at Fox ESS. Uh, this video has been about the H3, the uh, commercial hybrid inverter. 
Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Uh, and, and again, that's another reason we're here at the conferences is to make sure that you all can stay up to date with all the latest solar product and technology information. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Peter, thanks for spending time with us. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, thanks for coming. And have fun at the exhibition here. Enjoy, Monique. Thank you. And thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge thank channel. You. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.